All right, I present to you the Honey Badger 3. The ship has an absolutely huge interior layout that actually makes sense, but has no ladders and has a lot of little details. Let's take a look inside. Tio landing bay. All right, start off in a Stroud, one by one companion way. On this side, we have a Nova infirmary with our Hope Tech docking hatch. Back into a Stroud three by two cargo hall. This is great because it has the, it's the only one that has access to the cargo hold in it. Got extra storage. Good windows, more storage, and through a Nova cross passage to a Deimos 2x2 two two engineering, different than the other engineering, it's kind of nice, very unique. It's a beautiful day to be alive. Storage, but speaking of regular engineering, go through two Hope Tech spines to Hope Tech Engineering 3x1. We can see straight out the back, or we can look up into the grav drive. Nice little feature. More storage. Come around to the side. Tayo Brig. Through this little secure area, we got one armory, full Nova armory, to a Nova workshop to work on all our weapons and gear. And with that, we are done with the smaller of the two levels. <laughs> yeah, the smaller. All right, through here into the Cabot Bridge. These stairs are the only connection between the two levels. Two Hope Tech Spines to a Deimos 2x2 two two Battle Stations into a Nova 2x2 two two Battle Stations forward to the Captain's Quarters. This is a Tayo Captain's Quarters. I love this Captain's Quarters. Back we've got our Second infirmary, so you don't have to walk all the way around if you're hurt upstairs. <laughs> all right, back here we've got a two by two Hope Tech computer core. All business back here. Back to a Hope Tech uh, science lab. The view out the back. Forward to another armory, Stroud Armory this time. And a view out the side. So that concludes the work area. Now to the leisure. Nova living quarters. So we got beds, entertainment, we've got pool table view, coffee, bathroom, more view, back into our mess hall, eat, entertain, cook. On this side we have our nice bedroom for the crew. And a uh, not so nice, but still pretty cool bedroom, also for the crew. View out the back.
That is absolutely massive interior. No ladders. I mean, that's got to be bigger than some of the cities in this game. It is a long walk back to the entry. Lots of little details. It doesn't get repetitive. I didn't use the same thing over and over again or anything. Alright, so in the shipbuilder, before bonuses, it's got hull of 1451, shield of 1500, second best shield in the game. Cargo is 6970, um, that could actually be increased, but I didn't really bother with that. That was, that was enough for me. Max crew 13. 13. <laughs> I know you can only put 9 on a ship, but... Um, and I, I set up the weapons, I, I wouldn't... I wouldn't normally use these weapons, um, but I set this up because it allowed me to get that 13 number, which I just thought was funny. The jump range, 30 light years, so it's got maximum range. Mobility, 100, maximum mobi mobility. Top speed, 130. Mass of 42.24, so it's got over 50 more mass that could be added to it before it even loses one mobility. All right, so here's the teardown. Of course, enter, Tayo, shipbed 200 landing bay. We have beside that the Hope 11 Docker, which goes into Nova Galactic Infirmary. We got the Stroud Companionway one by one to connect all this together. Stroud Cargo Hall three by two. We've got four windows down the side here. Nova Cross Passage. The Amos Engineering Bay two by two. Two Hope Tech Hab Spines. Hope Tech Engineering by 3x1 with a porthole on the top and the back. We have six of the NG20 landing gear. We've got the 28T Defender Shield Generator, second best shield in the game. We've got the Tayo Brig, Nova Galactic Armory, Nova Galactic Workshop. Two of the Hope Tech Bumper A's. Seven of the Galleon S202 cargo holds. Three on this side, four on this side. Six of the SAL 6830 engines. So we have 100 mobility. And the Cabot C4 bridge. That's it for the lower level. Above that, Two of the Stroud nose cap two Bs. A bunch of I guess it's eight of the Stroud mid bracers. Four over here, four over here. Two Hope Tech Hab spines. Tayo Captain's Quarters. Over to this side we have the Nova Galactic Living Quarters two by two. Two windows. Nova Galactic Mess Hall three by two. Nova Cowling, Nova Galactic All-in-One Berth 2x1B, Stroud All-in-One Berth 2x1B, the Deimos Battle Stations, Nova Galactic Battle Stations, Stroud Armory 2x1 with a window, Tayo Infirmary 2x1, top A, that is to stop doors from going side to side here. Hope Tech Computer Core 2x2 two two, and the Hope Tech Science Lab 2x1 two with the cowling to mount the weapons. Also have, these aren't strictly necessary, the um, Horizon Weapon Mounts put these weapons at the front. These could go underneath. There are weapons mounts on the bottom of the cowling, so it's not truly necessary. But I like them being at the front better than being at the back. Um, yeah. Back up here. All right. Then on top, 
we have the stroud cap A, each side, nose cap B, two mid bracers, two stroud cowling 3 LAs, and uh, two stroud cap A aft. The 700T helium 3 tank, the Fuser DC403 reactor, and the Apollo GV200 grav drive. Those are not like top of the line, but they keep the weight down, so mobility 100, and they do everything that's necessary. Uh, for the weapons, I have six of the Vanguard Hellfire auto cannons. I wouldn't normally use these, but the fact that you can put six of them on helps increase the uh, Mac crew. Um, four of the PBO 300 auto alpha turrets. That's the only weapon on here that I would actually use on this. Um, then I've got six of the Vanguard Obliterator auto projectors. Uh, again, these are Class A. I, I wouldn't normally use this. Um, I would use the weapons that I have on my Kepler X. That's what I would actually use. But I like the idea of putting these on here. Gave me a max crew of 13. I just thought that was funny. And that's all there is to it. Absolutely huge. Alright, so with me on board, with all my bonuses, that gives me hull 1451, cargo 11,500, uh, 44 reactor power, 13 crew, 30 jump light years, 2400 shield, um, decent weapons. Again, this is not what I'd actually use on it. Mass 4224. Uh, 4275 is the highest you can go with these engines and still have 100 mobility. So there's more that could be added. I could easily add more cargo. Um, as I had said in the last video, uh, the Honey Badger 2, is this the largest no ladder ship you can build? No, it is not. I can already think of things I can do to make this even bigger. But this is as far as I wanted to go. <laughs> this is huge. Just like that, we're in space. Well, I hope you enjoyed this revisit of the Honey Badger. This was certainly a great deal of fun for me to play with. 